so today we have a interesting project which is a rest framework blog api that i have created so it's more of a, i can say um, a basic third functionality is would be there and there will be an authentication to it the token authentication so this is the assignment i can say that i got like few weeks ago in that point of time i was doing something else i am and i and I, I never uh, get to work on it and now when i have the time list i have build a simple api and I, after doing some research i find that there are uh, some documentation out there like the tutorials that for the for blog api especially in rest apis using django rest framework but most of them are using uh, class based generic views so which might be a bit too much for beginners so i created using the decorative views the function views and i also done the the class based views using the api view itself so let's see how it goes and so this is the project the blog and these are the two uh, two app that i've created so the api itself will take care of the current functionality and the user will be only take uh, taking care of the authentication part the token authentication part okay so let's go to the settings and see what are the things that i have installed in the app and let's go to the settings so in the settings so there is three the two app you can see the user and api and this another app is important to store the or, or the token itself and you have to migrate also okay you have to take care of it it's, it should not be inside your model but you have to migrate it to to get the table um, inside your database so that is important otherwise you will get an error and these are two things for the authentication yeah, and the for the rest same goes token authentication these are the two things that i have to also uh, include to the setting point so these are all things for the this and for the url itself i have added two blank url uh, for the both the apis uh, and the user app and that's kind of it in the blog and let's go to the uh, the api where i have created the model so this is the model uh, the you know the post I have the title description. What are the things that are used in the blog like context, date, category? I use a choice field like this this kind of choice field. You can make it like whatever you want. I wanted to make it like only two uh, things right now: web blog and machine learning. And we're just editing the name, the title itself, so that it looks good inside the admin panel. And now it goes into the views itself. So I've created the function based views using the decorative views and also the class based views so i will both do with that whatever you will be convenient with you can go with so the idea is to uh, fetch all the blogs so the moment you can go to a particular url you can see all the blogs but whenever you want to add a blog so i have three classes one is for view the list like whatever is there in the blog you can see it like it's simply uh, taking all those things and put it inside the serializer many has to be true otherwise yours will be two will be more than one block in it and re returning it with the status of 201 and serialized of data to get the data and but uh, and another another thing is that to add a post so view a post add a post and we have the post details like if you wanted to get the particular blog like block 5 block 6 using the id we can fetch that also and we can use and can update it also i'm using the patch here not the put because you know in patch you can do the partial changes like uh, so input what we have like you have five context like title description context date and category so in order to change or in order to update it you have to mention all of those things since suppose i don't i don't everything should be same i just wanted to change the description so i can simply get it by the id and you can say the description will be something like whatever change will be done and if you wanted to update it with the patch in the put you have to mention all of those things so which i don't like so that in that case i use the patch method but for that you also inside the serializer have to make sure the partial should be true otherwise it will not work so let's get on to the and to to and what i want is so in, in order to add in order to get a particular blog in order to update in order to delete you need to have the 
token authentication you have to have the token inside it otherwise you will not authorized to do the changes for that you can see in, do, in both of these classes i have added the authentication class and the permission class so these two things have to be installed and how will get the token we will see that inside the user app okay so in that case nothing is there like we are just fetching the data again we are doing a post re get request here and the port request here uh getting the data we are seeing that it's valid it's valid or not if it's not we will get a 404 otherwise we can get a 201 and here also we are here we are doing the same thing but we are also uh getting it from the uh id like okay we are getting a particular object by the id itself we are passing the id here and you can see the url as well the how so the url from the details we'll get it details slash the uh, key itself you, you can do this also you can also do like object dot get id is equal to again request dot like request dot data dot id also like from directly from the from the response itself you can give the id and you can take take particular block what i like to do is like this to get the id and again for the patch method is updating the data for that you have to get the instance of the block and the data itself both of both of the things you have to be and you can see we're trying it we will also doing the try and exception here like we'll trying it we'll see that everything is done it's if the serializer is not good you can say something wrong and and otherwise you can say 401 if anything happens like you can also have something called object doesn't exist you can do that and say not found that is also good way to handling errors so try and accept you can do that and simply you are del deleting it so let's see how it goes let's see the user first otherwise uh, we will not get the token we will we'll not gonna understand how it goes so in the here in the serializer itself we are importing the user model we don't want to get anything so in the user model what we are gonna we create a class by saying the user and you only need to have the username and password you can take all the first name last name whatever you want but you have to validate it and this function you can see this is for hashing the password if you don't do that everything will work but the password will not hash if the password will not hash you're not able to log in again so this is very important we're really hashing the password and yeah so this is how we do it just taking the validating data Password has is equal to use other object of create user. This is the standard on technique. You can find the documentation. Username is equal to valid data dot username and set password. Again, valid data is equal to password. Save it, return the password. Your password will be hash. Now going back to the AP not API view. I wanted to go to the user view. So all we want is user. We don't want anything related to the API itself. So yeah, this is the view you can say there is two things register and login again a class based view the API view I've used I haven't used the function which views here because it's only like three four lines. So what we are going to do again the post request we want to re uh, register a data inside that we are just putting it we validating it if it's right then bingo you will get a record is created you can say or you can say user is created record here user is created to very registered and created this register says fully you can do that and uh, here in the login part we are from we are taking the like data like username data password data and we are also having this like it's optional like, in seeing that whether the user and the password is if it's none we can also break the uh, maybe uh, error by saying that you know we have to give those things right we cannot make it empty and this is uh, using the authenticate itself from the django to, to authenticate to see whether they're authenticated or not and if the user is not like if there is no user like this you can simply say wrong credential or you can say if it's not exist you can say uh, it not exist so whatever it is you can give the validation to it and here where the if it's if it's authenticated the if it's not user then you are giving the in, invalid credential but if 
the user is there we are creating a token itself so this is how you can create so these two things the token object and the create mm, this is how the method will work so you have to put two things here two objects and we are giving the user like the user itself uh, since we are using user authenticate so you get the user itself if you are not like here suppose you are not so you can also on the model itself you can get the user also okay so user dot object dot get user net is equal to because in the serialized data we are putting the data so from the serializer dot data dot username you also get the user so if you wanted to get the token you can create the token inside the registration the moment you register will get the token or you wanted to do that by the login itself you can do that both the ways so let's see how it goes i think we have talked a lot let's roll it and see how it really works so it's running let's go to the postman of course let's hit it let's hit it so you get the get request as i can see there is a block one block two block nine block ten i have deleted some of the things in between so that is very good these are the blocks you can see uh, it's been there now if we want to get a particular suppose details dot like we want like what two three nine we want to get nine we say like this we are getting it the reason we are getting it because we pass the authentication key to it like this is the token that i have already passed i'm testing it that is the reason we are now you can see if we don't have the token so if a token is not there you will not have we will say the authentication that will not provide now let's see let's register let's see the url of the register what is it it's only register let's register a user so let's register you can simply say register here let's register the user so it will be post method you can see it will be post method and the moment we will get register and logged in we simply in the body in the register what we need we need the uh what we need what we need we need to have we don't need category we don't need content we need username and password right we need username would be let's say no joy one and password let's say no joy one and description is not equal to pass for what it will be post method it will be register this is the user this is the password we don't need this here and let's head up get an error this is the error register so the data is false so what we have done wrong here and the register See what is in the register. So let's data username password and the URL also it's register right. We give a slash maybe. Let's see username and password. Yeah. So because we haven't give the slash is getting there. Right? So you can see this is successfully created. And the password is also hashed, okay? And you say that the user is registered successfully. So now we go to the login, do the login itself, log in, and the username password will be the same. And we should hit it with the post. You can see we're getting a you are successfully logged in, and we the, we're also getting the token. So I will take this token and I put it inside the header. This is the previous one. Now to put it inside this and it is authorized. Now if I go to the details, I want to see the details of nine. You can see block nine. If I see post method is oh, sorry post method is not. So yeah, if you wanted to do like this, you can see yeah, you can add a data and simply do that. If you wanted to do the post also, uh. So we have to add a particular thing. Without it, we wanted to do like. I wanted to add a data. I wanted to do 
add a blog in it. Let's just take this and ID. I don't know. Let's take all the exists. And I want to go to the body. I want to go to the like, and to add a data. The title would be blog ten. Blog ten. This will be ten. This will be ten. So ten and it will be machine learning. Let's say. And today is twenty seven. Right. I'm testing it to one. So it's twenty eight. Sorry, twenty eight. And we hit it. Post URL is right. And so if you wanted to hit it, the post method is not allowed. It's saying, or oh, the URL will be different. Sorry for that. So I have to do the add. The add is there. Add and I have to give it this also. What do you say? What do you say? It's error. It's giving error. Why it's giving error? Yeah. So it says authentication credentials are not provided. So you can't add because again there are what we put. We have put the the views we have see inside the add method. We have put the authentication group. So it needs the authentication token. So we'll give the token because you already have it. And whenever you logged in, we got the token. Now if I wanted to do that again, you can see the yeah, the block is created. So things will be added. Now if you wanted to go. Back and see it. Should be added. You can see nine, ten, eleven. You can see block ten, block ten. Is that it? Now update it. Like let's see, just update the data using the patch as I told you. So let's see what to do. Change it to let's change it to block eleven, block eleven test test ten to test eleven. Right? Let's change the title only. You know, partial. We'll do the partial change. So the patch is there. The header would be it's uh, the token is the header is there. Now we don't need all of those things. We want to do the partial change. Let's change the description to taste eleven. Otherwise we don't want anything, right? Let's do that. Let's just change it to eleven. Only the description. Uh, it's patch. It's five. Five is there. I think not five. Not it should be. ID would be 11 from that time. So let's hit it. Is it 11? Yeah, ID is 11. So 11. We wanted to change the title to the description from 8 test 8. Sorry, uh, test 10. ID is 11. Description test 10 to test 11. Let's see how it. You can see you say the blog is successfully updated. And now you can see in the description. Everything is same. You don't need to put all of those things. But if you are using put, then you have to mention all of those things. The title ID is already auto generated. So you need the title, you need the context, you need the date and the category. All of those things have to be filled. Otherwise, it will not work. So it's there. And what else is there? We have to delete is there, right? So we will go to the delete, and we want to delete it. By the ID itself, it doesn't need anything. We're putting the ID. That's all. You know, you know. The message is blog is successfully deleted. We'll see whether it's deleted or not. The 11, right? And if we do that, I think yeah, you can see the 11 is gone. The only last one is 10. Let's delete the 10 also. Delete the 10 because we already put in the header itself, so everything is there. So delete it again. The 10, I think there is something here. Yeah, 10. The block is successfully deleted. Status is there. You have to get it again. Now, if you want to get the same ID, what will happen? It's deleted. What will happen? Not found because we are using the try and the accept method like expect. So that is the the use of it, right? So if it will try to delete it, if it's not, we'll get an exception by saying. So this is how you can use the error and uh, error handling, which is very important. So yeah, that's kind of it. We will, I will try to put what I can say, the front end as well in the next. So it will be a complete application to itself. So yeah, I will put the GitHub link of it. So if you want, you can check it out. Thank you so much. Happy learning.